this is a metal spatula that has been sitting in some hot oil. Now, why am I doing that? Well, we're gonna make some fried pancakes. All right, so lift up out of the pancake batter. We're gonna go right back into the hot oil. Flip it and you'll start getting these cool little bubbles. Now, once you get this kind of brown coloring, lift up, drain off, and we're going right back into the pancake batter. Once you're there, lift up, let it drip off a little bit, and guess what? Right back into the hot oil. If you get a little nuggets around, those will be good to eat a little bit later. Golden brown. So I'm gonna take out, we're gonna go right back to that towel. I'm gonna tap twice, get some excess oil off. And then we're gonna go to our stand. Take a spatula or you can use a fork. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit on the sides just to make sure that we're good to go. And so it'll slide off easily. If you need, what I'm doing is just making them so, oh, well there it goes. See how we have that pocket there? Is that not awesome? So I'm gonna take some pecans. I'm gonna put it right on my grill here. And then I have some bananas that I'm just gonna place around, kind of form a circle here. I'm gonna lift up the bowl. We're gonna push the pecans to the side. And now guess what? It is time to go into a preheated oven, 350 degrees for 10 minutes. All right, so these are just out of the oven. I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna cut off the ends here. It should cut off pretty easily. Take the end, put it to the side, go for the second one here, do the same thing. And then we got the last one. I have a little bit of a sack and a glass. And so what you're gonna do at the top of the banana, hold, and then it's just gonna squeeze out. I'm gonna take it out of the glass, very easy. And all you have to do is push down and look how easy that is to make a puree out of the bananas. All right, so that's awesome. And it's on to the next step. So now we have our banana puree. And what I'm gonna do, open it up, and now I'm gonna squirt a little bit into the bottom. You're going for about one fourth of the way up and clip it off there. I'm gonna take a little whisk. Very satisfying. So I have some peanut butter that I melted. I'm gonna pour this right on it in a little bit of a streaking pattern. So we're gonna make a little bit of a snake, just like that. And then I have some strawberry jelly. I'm gonna do the same thing. Get you a toothpick. You're gonna to run up and down, just like so. We'll go over a little bit more, why not? And this mixes all the flavors into each other. We've got some fresh strawberries and also blueberries to help cut into the white chocolate. And you're just gonna put this on around, give a little shake off, and let's go. So now I pull this out of the refrigerator. You can make little lines. Go in with the spatula that you used. Now you're gonna do is make two lines one way, two lines the other way. I'm just gonna slide it back out. And this is actually gonna be whipped cream. And this is just to hold them up with strawberries. I'm gonna finish off with some blueberries, wonderful pecans. And of course, as always, you gotta taste. I'm gonna pull out this little side pocket here. I'm so excited.
we're going to shave the ice cream cone on a microplane and it's going to give it a flat base so it can stand up by itself. I have some aluminum foil here. I'm going to roll it out. I'm going to place my cone in the center like this and we're going to cover it with aluminum foil. With the excess, we're just going to stick it inside. And we're going to place it here with the other ones. I have some Jolly Rancher candies here. I'm going to spread them out on our worktop. Look at all these colors. We're going to take a blue one. I'm going to bring it over and we're going to put it into our pan. I'm going to turn it on and let these melt. Look at this beautiful green color. Now we're going to come over to our foil Christmas tree and we're going to start putting our sugar around. As the sugar cools, it's going to start making a very fine string and it's going to wrap around our Christmas tree. And you get this kind of spun sugar look. One last round. Now we're going to carefully detach it. Now we're going to put our decorations. We just dip it in the caramel and place it onto our Christmas tree. And now our last decoration. And now it's time to for our cake. Now we have our cheesecake. It's cooled. And we're just going to start putting our whipped cream frosting. We're going to turn to cover all of the cake. our cake is completely covered in frosting, we're going to take a spatula and we're going to start smoothing out our frosting. And we're going to turn the cake at the same time so we can cover all of the areas. We're going to sprinkle some coconut around the edges of our cake. It's going to be our snow for our Christmas scene. We're going to take some Biscoff cookies and we're going to place two together like this and we're going to push them down into our cake and two more. And the last two we're going to place in the center and push down. We're going to take our frosting and we're going to add just around the edges. And we're going to place our roof on top. A line of frosting here. And on the other side as well. We're going to take our shingles and we're going to add them. Just pick that one back up. Um, now we're going to add a door and you can also add other details like windows or a little pathway in front of the house. We're going to add our doorknob and now I'm going to bring back our Christmas trees. We're going to put our last Christmas tree and there you have it. Our beautiful Christmas cake is finished. You can find the recipe on chefclub.tv. Enjoy! Merry Christmas!